they tell us that this pineal gland is formed like an eye, like an atrophied eye, that it was an eye sometime. But if it was really an atrophied eye, then why hide it under the brain if it was supposed to see light? But we know that as an eye, it's very sensitive to light because when light hits it, it can't hit it directly, of course. Somehow it gets the information about light. Then it produces certain things, chemicals in your body. And when there is no light, it produces others. So the moment the light goes off, it starts producing things like, for example, melatonin, and it puts you to sleep. But if this was the main reason for this, then the logical place for it would be somewhere out there. If it's an organ that senses light, the logical place for it would be somewhere where it can get the light. Or why would we need it to begin with? Because the eyes can do it for us. I mean, the eyes can sense the light and send the information to the brain. Why have something that looks like an eye that gets information from outside, but at the same time is pointing downwards under the brain? It must be when we speak of its relationship to light. Now we are speaking about light being created in our system. We create our light. So it is sensitive. It could be sensitive to something there, but it is also related to some inner light. You know, this point in the ear, when you have your ear like that, in Chinese medicine, you imagine the ear like this to be like an inverted fetus with the eyes here, the hands here, you see, and the legs here, it's like, like that. And the points here in treatment, they reflect every organ in your body. So your whole body is present in your ear like that. Now, in ancient times, there was nothing called jewelry. You wear jewelry here, you wear jewelry there. No, 